It's Umsum time! What if we used cell phones all the time? Use them! But only for watching Umsum videos! <laughs> oh, Umsum. If we use cell phones all the time, ophthalmologists, as in eye doctors, will get extremely, extremely busy. Hmm. People may start suffering from sleeping disorders. Hmm. CEOs of internet companies may start making truckloads of money. Hmm. Cell phones may stop working huh? due to overuse. Some people <laughs> may start buying dozens of them. Hmm. Cell phone batteries will now need a lot of huh? charging. People may be seen using long charging cables. Hmm. Skills of people in outdoor sports will suffer a lot. Hmm. Using cell phones while driving is dangerous. Some people may find it out the hard way. Hmm. Some people may start using cell phones while climbing mountains. This may huh? not end well. Hmm. People may live together, but they will barely talk with each other. Hmm. Being exposed to so much huh? cell phone signal radiation may bring about unknown medical problems in the future. Hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. Why do we have moles? To enhance our beauty. <laughs> All right, listen. Our skin has cells oh. called melanocytes. They give our skin its color. Hmm. However, sometimes these cells tend to grow in clusters, oh. thus forming moles. <laughs> hmm. Moles can be present at birth or can appear later in life. They're usually black or brown and can be flat or raised. Hmm. Some moles may even disappear with age. Usually, moles are not oh. cancerous, but doctors have come up with a rule called ABCDE rule, hmm? which will help you indicate whether the mole is cancerous or not. Hmm. A stands for asymmetric shape. B stands for border. C stands for color. D stands for diameter. And E stands for evolution. Huh? Besides this, it is believed, but there is no conclusive evidence that excess exposure to sunlight and genetics might play a role in the formation of moles. Hmm. Ah. Why do blood types matter? Oh. Cause burger types matter. Nah. <laughs> Usually, our blood is classified into eight types. Namely, A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, AB positive, AB negative, O positive, and O negative. This classification is based on the presence, absence, or combination of specific antigens in our red blood cells. If we have A antigen, ah. then our blood type is A. If we have ah. a B antigen, then our blood type is B. If we have both ah. antigens, then our blood type is AB. And lastly, if we neither have A nor B, then ah. our blood type is O. The positive and negative factor is determined by the RHD ah. antigen. If we have RHD antigen, then we are RH positive. Otherwise, we are RH negative. But what is the use of these blood types? Our immune system produces antibodies against the antigens we don't have. So, during transfusion, if wrong blood is injected, our antibodies will recognize the unknown antigen as an invader and start attacking it. This can cause transfused blood to clot, which can be potentially fatal. Hmm. What is sleep oh. apnea? The ability to sleep 24 7. Huh? No. Sleep apnea is a sleep disorder in which breathing is repeatedly interrupted during sleep. There are three types of sleep oh. apnea. First is obstructive sleep apnea in which the muscles and soft tissues present at the back of our throat relax and collapse, blocking the breathing passage and thus preventing the inhaled air from reaching the lungs. Second is central sleep apnea in which our brain fails to send appropriate signals to the muscles that control breathing. Now, although the breathing passage is open, the muscles don't perform their tasks, hence breathing stops. Third is mixed sleep apnea in which a person suffers from obstructive sleep apnea as well as central sleep apnea. 
Now, in all the above oh. three types, lack of oxygen and shortness of breath trigger our <laughs> brain to wake us up from sleep so that we can start breathing again. Ah. What if we walk 10 miles every day? You walk. I will just order my burger online. <laughs> oh, um, some. There are lots of positives if you do so. Firstly, your chances of getting fresh air will increase. Secondly, there will be great psychological benefits of enjoying the surroundings as well as meeting new people. Thirdly, science says that good exercise leads to better sleep, which leads to higher overall energy levels. Fourthly, if you are overweight, oh, then this will definitely be helpful. You will burn a lot of calories and lose weight. Fifthly, it will make your heart strong by keeping the cardiovascular diseases away. Lastly, your leg muscle endurance and bone strength will also increase. On a funnier note, you might get inspired to participate in Tour de France or the Ironman Challenge. Note that if you are suffering from knee or ankle pain, then walking 10 miles every day should be avoided. What if all cars were electric? Why only cars? Even I look electric. <laughs> oh, um, some. There will be a number of advantages as electric cars are considered to be much huh? more environmentally friendly. Mm. Firstly, air pollution would greatly reduce as it is estimated that road transportation is responsible for more than 50% of nitrogen oxides and carbon <laughs> monoxide emissions. Secondly, huh? Our respiratory tract would be a much happier place as road transportation is responsible for more than 40% of particulate matter emissions. Thirdly, mortality rate will reduce as WHO estimates that outdoor air pollution is responsible for more than 4.2 million deaths yearly. There would be some relatively minor disadvantages though. Firstly, car ownership would get expensive as electric cars are expensive as compared to fossil fuel cars. Heavy reliance on rare earth elements as well as lithium and cobalt for battery production. Thus, we might face a different kind of environmental challenges. Why are vitamins important? No, just vanilla ice cream is important. Oh, um some. <laughs> Vitamins are micronutrients which help perform important functions in our body. The most essential vitamins needed by our body are vitamin A, C, D, E, K, and a group of B-complex vitamins. Hmm. Vitamin A is required to make a pigment called <laughs> rhodopsin in our eyes. Rhodopsin ah. helps us to see in low light conditions. Thus, without vitamin A, rhodopsin won't be produced, causing night blindness. Vitamin C and E are antioxidants. Unstable oh. free radicals damage our huh? cell's DNA, leading to illness or cancer. Vitamin C and E neutralize the free radicals, preventing hmm. cell damage. Vitamin D helps ah. our body absorb calcium to build strong bones. Thus, lack of vitamin D can lead to a condition called rickets, which is characterized by weak, soft bones. During an injury, vitamin K helps the blood clot thus preventing excessive bleeding. Mm. Lastly, B-complex vitamins are essential for a healthy functioning of our brain and nervous system. Hmm. Why do we forget things as we get old? Because we stop watching It's Um Sometimes. No. <laughs> there are various reasons behind this. Firstly, a region in the brain called hippocampus is involved in the formation and recollection of memories. However, as years pass by, its volume decreases, decreasing the capabilities of hippocampus and thus making us forgetful. Secondly, our brain cells or neurons have hair-like projections called dendrites. Dendrites help neurons receive signals from other neurons. However, with age, these dendrites retract or shrink. Many connections between neurons or synapses are lost. As a result, communication within the brain gets reduced. <laughs> Thus, we struggle to recall names, huh? events, huh? etc. Thirdly, studies suggest that with age, our brain oh. generates fewer chemical messengers called neurotransmitters. So, this might also play a role in declining memory. Lastly, 
It is also observed that with increasing age, blood flow to our brain is reduced. As a result, the working of our neurons get affected. Thus, we forget things more frequently. Hmm.